Awesome Greenhouse Tomatoes Farming Modern Robotic Tomato Harvesting Technology Greenhouse tomatoes are classified as controlled environmental cultivation. Your tomatoes from the greenhouse will give you the best outcome with a 5 to 2 to 5 nutrient solution with a high quantity of calcium and magnesium compounded into the soil. Being the controller of the greenhouse means some definite benefits to growing tomatoes. Tomatoes are an incredible addition to our gardens, meals, and salads. Unluckily, tomatoes in cool climates are hard to harvest. Even these plants in cool regions sometimes have lush, fresh green branches. However, they are suspected of being diseased or having pests. All right, liking the video is not enough until you give a thumbs up to it. Well, you have heard so, so many benefits of tomatoes. Though it is considered a fruit, it is commonly used in everyday meals and typically consumed in vegetables. A healthy fruit that can be used for healthy and positive vibes. Surprised to hear that? They say it's difficult to think anything but pleasant thoughts while eating a homegrown tomato. On the planet, tomatoes are considered the most famous greenhouse production. You can get two times the yield per year from the same field if you take good care of greenhouse growers by placing them in suitable temperatures and sufficient light. Indoor growth requires extra attention and careful handling to eliminate diseases. Tomatoes farming. If you have a heated greenhouse, you can start sowing seeds in late February until the middle of March. However, this time is different if you have an unheated greenhouse. For unheated greenhouses, start indoor planting in the middle of March. The perfect time to move them is April, after the last frost. To avoid the transplanting process, you can alternatively sow your seeds after the last frost direct into greenhouses. Sufficient light, fresh air, and an ideal temperature between 21 to 27 are enough for healthy nutrition. However, the temperature should be around 10 at night. Negligence can reduce the yield if the temperature is below 15 or above 32. Maintenance of optimal temperature can add vigorous growth and abundant production. Tomato types also play an important role, so you should choose wisely the variety of tomatoes. Tomatoes have two basic types, bush type and indeterminate. Most of the time, best growth depends on the space you have in the greenhouse. If you have little space in your greenhouse, you must choose small-sized tomatoes such as Sun Gold. Its fruit is up to 2.5 centimeters in size. They have sown in the space between 60 to 100 centimeters. Their fruit seems fresh orange in color but acidic in taste. while black cherry tomatoes taste sweet and less acidic. When it ripens, its color turns to purple from red. When the harvesting starts, they are four centimeters in size. The sown space is about 90 centimeters. Often, tomato leaves get fungal infections because of high humidity. However, black cherry is resistant to many fungal leaf diseases. Capricia is one of the types that are 14 to 20 grams each piece. They are sweet and slightly acidic in taste and oval in shape. They look red and can be spaced just 50 centimeters apart. Brandywine is also a type of tomato that can give you vigorous growth. It produces a large-sized red fruit. They need enough space because they grow higher than 2 meters. They remain close to many diseases. Beefsteak is a hybrid type. They are famous for their fleshy texture and juicy fruit. Also, they can be taller than 2 meters. However, here is a tip. Those who have small greenhouses with shelves, a few smaller bush type, settled the growth varieties, often prove a better option. They are self-supporting tomatoes.
Growing tomatoes in pots can be very rewarding for healthy growth in greenhouses. At least a minimum of 19 liters pot is crucial for different indeterminate varieties. This depth gives the roots a better place to grow healthy. Always go for a container that has holes in it for drainage. If you have plenty of space, planting beds are easy to maintain. As tomato plants share the roots and all other nutrients, the beds help consume a little water as they dry up slowly. Make sure to freshen your soil every year. This procedure can save your tomatoes from pests and disease buildup. It will also reduce the chances of nutrient deficiencies in the plant. When deciding where to plant the greenhouse, consider how much room plants need. And keep in mind that where you can easily support the rods or trellises. Tomatoes require plenty of room, so if you want to increase your production to the next level and don't want to face problems, don't forget to provide them with sufficient space. Moreover, give your plants a minimum of 50 centimeters. However, 100 meters is preferable for the best outcomes. If your plants are taller and have grown up, this much space will give them good air circulation. If you have farmed bush-type plants, spacing them out according to their variety between 30 to 90 centimeters apart. To support your tomato plants in the greenhouse, use a string, wire, or spiral rods. This will help the plants to grow healthy, firm, and without ruining. Tomatoes take a heavily rich nutrient. They make no difference when planting in a greenhouse. They need potassium to grow robust. Soil preparation with high quality compost considers a good start to give your plant the perfect nutrition. Tomatoes harvesting. Generally, tomatoes are harvested with human hands. It has become more difficult these days. Tomato consumption and yield have grown so much. Harvesting tomatoes with laborers becomes harder than ever. So robotic harvesting is opening its ways successfully. Robotic harvesting in agriculture has made us able to have high quality and healthier products. Additionally, it also improves time and management in a much better way. Avoiding intensifying labor concerns, many companies that provide new technologies have launched robotic harvesters for greenhouse production. However, still, there are many more who are ready to commercialize those electric robotic machines. Anyhow, harvesting also depends on the variety you have planted. Smaller types like cherry type can be grown too early, but large sized like beefsteak take a long time. If you are a hand harvester, regularly check your plants. As you see ripened tomatoes, just pluck them from the bottom. You also can use gardening scissors. Place them carefully into a collection vessel. Make sure not to burst or ruin with overweight. Usually ripened fruits, including tomatoes, give out ethylene gas that helps other fruits in ripening. Anyhow, tomato harvesters work differently. Each vehicle has a large sized collection vessel. The vehicle moves forward. Lagger cutters cut the ripened fruit. However, some of the new robotic machines scan the ready fruit. They harvest them and let the other with stem until ripen. These machines work automatically and separate them according to their texture. In this way, you can grow tomatoes at home on your own. I hope you like our efforts and you could check out our How Tomato Ketchup is Made videos. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and until the next one, stay tuned with us.